everyone, welcome to my channel. I hope you guys like this new bracelet and let's just get started, shall we? So you're going to need 8 strings for colors. Um, since I'm starting with a loop, if you guys don't know how to make a loop for your bracelets, I do have a video on how to do that. So I will have the link in the description below. So since I am starting with the loop, my strings are long, so that way when it's folded in half, it's the right amount, except for these in the corners, because these are going to be my border, and believe it or not, these strings are going to be used a lot, like it's even longer than the ones in the middle okay so i'm gonna have all the descriptions i'm gonna have all the measures right here on the screen so let's just get started i have dark brown this mustard color white and this other type of reddish brown color so i just put them like this mirror image dark brown the mustard color white and the reddish brown okay so we're gonna start with the left side the first thing we're gonna do is grab the first string and make a forward backward knot just like that and then we're gonna go to the right side and we're gonna do the same thing but with opposite knots so it's going to be a backward forward. If you guys have no idea what I'm talking about, I do have a video, an English video, on how to make all the basic knots, okay? So now I like to start in a way so that my bracelets have a flat beginning. So I'm going to grab the first two in the middle I mean so the ones in the middle and I'm gonna make a forward knot it doesn't matter if it's a forward or backward knot because it's the same it's the both strings are the same color so it's gonna end up looking the same okay so now I'm gonna grab from the middle, the ones that we just used, I'm going to grab the left white string and I'm going to make a forward knot. We do the same thing with the other white one and we're going to make a backward knot. Now the two strings are in the middle, the two white strings, so we're gonna unite them just like that and now since we already made part of our border we're gonna grab the next string which is this one or the second one one two and we're gonna make two forward notes one and two. So basically, we're making a chevron, which I also have a video on how to make one of the basic friendship bracelets, the chevron. So now the next, the other side, on the right side, we grab the same color string and two backward knots. One. And two. There you go. Now the two are in the middle. So we tie them together and 
there you go so now after this it's not that complicated you just keep making the chevron but first make sure you're making that border so we're gonna go to the first one first string our designated border string we're gonna make a forward backward knot and then the other side a backward forward knot backward forward knot there you go and we we'll make the chevron with the next string which is left side two forward knots one and two the same thing on the other side but with backward knots make sure it's the same color string as the other side one and two the two strings are in the middle so we tie them together I always make a forward knot because that's comfortable for me there you go so now again first string our designated border string a forward backward knot and we put it to the side and the same thing with the other one but backward forward knot Okay. So we just want to make sure that we have two completed, two sets of completed chevrons. So what I'm thinking about is this white one is not a completed one because it's just three knots when they're supposed to be five. Okay, so starting from the mustard color, that's going to be and ending with the white completed chevron that's going to be one set so we're going to do another set and that's when we're going to start adding the beads okay so since i already made the border two forward knots and then the other side Two backward knots with the white string. One. And two. Both of them are together. So we tie them together. And there you go. So I'm going to make another set with the mustard, the reddish brown color, and the white one. But don't forget to, before starting starting the chevron, to make the forward, backward knot, with the brown string, and then the backward forward with the other one, okay? And we can continue or finish the other set, okay? So there's my two full sets of chevrons without counting the kind of the first two. <laughs> so now this is where the beads come in. 
So depending on the size of your beads, that's how many you're going to put. Mine are about 5 millimeters, so I'm going to be able to fit 3, just completely fine. So here are my colors that I'm going to use. So we're going to put the strings, we're going to put the beads in, in the middle. So just be, make sure that the beads have a big enough hole for two strings to go through. I'll start with a dark bead. And I think it is perfect. Yes, it's perfect. So there's one, then I'm gonna add another one. I want the lightest color to be in the middle. Oh, there you go. And the other dark one. Let's put them together and I like it. If you're not comfortable with licking your string, you can always just wet it with the water. Especially if you're gonna sell them or give them as gifts. Okay, and there you go. So now, this is what we're gonna do. We're gonna grab the, or the sides. We're gonna grab the first string, and then we're gonna make a forward, backward knot. Just like that. Now we grab the second string, one, two, and we're just gonna make a forward knot. Just like that. So now we go to the first one again, and a forward, backward knot. Then we're gonna go to the second one, it's okay, it should be the different color. It should be a different color, so we'll just make a forward knot. So we're just going to be alternating between the two strings. So backward, forward, backward knot, and then second string, a forward knot. Again, a forward, backward knot, and a forward knot. So there's no correct amount of how many you, times you do this, as long as it's a bit longer than the length of the three beads. Okay, so I'll keep doing this until I have the desired length. Okay, so I went ahead and stopped right here because there's something important. If you still want to continue with this pattern of the same order of colors, make sure that the first color is going to be the second string, okay? Just make sure of that. So mine is, and I went ahead and make the, for, uh, the forward backward knot so I don't have to worry about it later. So now we're going to do the same thing. On the other side so now we can just um depend on this and be like okay we made one two three three mustard color knots and then another three for the uh, for the other color so this is what i'm this is what we're gonna do so it's the same thing so opposite knots so it's backward forward then you grab the second string one two you just make a backward knot then you grab the fourth string again and backward forward knot then second string forward knot and I'm gonna keep doing this until it's exactly the same thing as the other side
Okay, so there we have it. And now we're just going to continue this just how we started right here with the gold chevron. So um, I forgot to make here the backward forward knot for the border. There you go. So now we're just going to grab the mustard color string and we're going to make two forward knots. One and two. There you go. And then the other one. Two backward knots. And two. So the first chevron is always going to look a bit weird. That's because the strings need to get used to starting from zero, kind of. So the two strings were together, so I just tie them together. So there you go. So now you just complete another two sets of chevrons. Don't forget to always make the forward backward knot and the backward forward knot with the brown string in order to continue the border. And that is basically it for this bracelet. It's a super simple bracelet. And even if you don't want to add a bead, you can just continue with the chevron and the border and it still looks really pretty. Or if you want, you can make it even thicker by adding more strings and it's still the same thing. Okay. So, I'm continuing with this. So I put the camera a bit farther away so you guys can see, which is, yeah, I'm just repeating the steps from the beginning. So now we're going to put the beads in, we're going to put the beads right here and we're just doing exactly the same thing as here, okay? So let's do this. Just how we did right here at the sides. This is the first string forward, backward knot, and since we already know how many knots we're gonna make because of the first that we made, it's just easy. So I know it's three mustard color knots and the other and three other knots from the other color. So that's what I'm gonna do. Seems to be right, so we're going to do the same thing on the other side, but with the opposite knots. So a backward, forward, and then the second string, a forward knot. Before we make our chevron, let's do the forward, 
back or not with the first string. And then we can make the two forward knots. Like this. And then the same thing over here, a backward, forward. And then the second string, two backward knots. Just like this, the two are right next to each other, so we tie them together. And that's all there is to it, so it's again the two sets of chevrons and then beads. Always make sure that you're always making the knots for the border, okay? So I'm gonna continue with this bracelet so you guys can appreciate more the design. So Let's continue. bracelet so there's the loop there's the chevron and the beads and the border so I did it four times and then there's this the ending so I always like to end it with a rope braid because I think that just looks beautiful and that's how it looks on the back side and there you go I hope you like this tutorial. If you did, please like this video. I also invite you guys to like my Facebook page. And well, this is all. I hope you guys have a great day or night, depending on what time you're watching this video. And if you guys would like to see more tutorials on how to make all these beautiful bracelets, then please subscribe and I'll see you next time. Bye.